Hey guys, welcome back to Ganchi Plans. Today I'm doing a full flip through video. It is May 2021. I always stop before I say that. Um, sorry about the framing. It's a little bit tight right now. It's just the way my tripod's set up and it's getting late and I don't want to fiddle with it too much. But uh, here I am in my A7 motor. Um, it's the pocket size, you know, same thing. And uh, I've been in here now for, I guess, since I got it for my birthday, right? So uh, five, six months now. So uh, it's been going good. I really like the pocket set up um, to have like my wallet in here and stuff. Uh, the front pocket has, oh, I forgot where this went. Some washi tape, a little washi cutter. Um, I don't have any change. At least I don't think I do. But I do have, I have like a quarter. This is a little Play-Doh heart that my daughter made and colored for me. So, yeah, be jealous. Anyway, the I always get asked about these tabs, and I do love them. They were from a shop called Marlene's Plan to Create on Etsy that uh, does not seem to exist anymore. But if you search for, like, plastic frosted tabs, planner tabs, um, then you can usually find that somewhere on Etsy there were other shops that sold it at the time. Um so I can't recommend a specific shop right now. Sorry about that. But she did this uh, flyleaf as well. Then um, I I know I've mentioned this before, but most of these black and white acetates are from Peanuts Planner Co. So let's see. I did a monthly plan with me, so you will have seen this already if you're following along. Uh, this is my monthly setup. I use a lot of my own inserts from my own shop, which is GenchiPlans.com. And so this is insert 33 which is this grid monthly with uh sort of not officially but definitely a Monday start which I'm getting used to but like it's not that big of a deal the only thing I need getting used to is um like actually setting it up because I keep messing it up and you don't really see it in the videos because of movie magic but it's kind of frustrating to have to keep printing stuff out because I do it wrong um it's getting to be a busier life now that things are opening up uh, we are fully vexed as of today actually when this video is going out so that's very exciting so the two weeks past our shot date that's how that works people don't seem to be talking about that but that's a tangent um let's see the next page I have in here is um I just have like each weekend set up because like we have a lot of things going on on weekends and I just wanted to kind of keep track of it so that I know what's coming up um, to plan ahead for it because we've got things happening and it's a lot and I just don't want to forget anything. Then this is a one thing one year tracker from my summer touch. I love it. It's really handy and awesome. So on one side, it's the one line a day journal that I've got it just happens to be next to me on the desk. Um, and I don't really flip through it cause it's got stuff in here that's like personal, but it's got a, a line for every, uh, one per year. Uh, for 10 years and so I'm working on year two of a whole decade's worth of a little journal of memory keeping which is pretty cool um, I don't fill this out every single day I'll like kind of go back I just kind of like having it there and it's easy because I can go back and fill it in and I never miss a day this is the same thing but for the bible in a year podcast from father Mike Schmitz um, if you're yeah it's it exists it was like the top podcast for a while there in January and it's probably still up there so it shouldn't be hard to find these are my NFP chart, which I'm not going to show you, but uh, my cycles came back. We're all ladies here. Statistically speaking, there may be a couple of guys. And if you're out there, hello to the gentleman. Leave a comment. Let me know you saw this. Uh, let's see. Level 10 life insert number five from the shop. I, I think this is the third time I filled it out this year. Um, and I have really enjoyed it as an exercise in sort of a, figuring out what my goals need to be. Um, I just have 10 different categories that I assigned for my life and they'll have fun little mild liner colors. Um, but I just kind of rate myself without looking at the previous ones that I could compare. And then these are the goals that have to do with different categories that I feel like I need to work on a lot. This is the monthly resolution spread, insert number 11. And uh, I have not done my, res my monthly resolution for May at all. Um, I think things have just been getting too busy in my life. And then I just decided that uh, I'm probably just going to kind of, this, this will be a wash. I have not been good about like cleaning. The house has stayed roughly tidy, especially if we can get to it like once a week to kind of get through it all. There's just so many toys everywhere. And then we never get a chance to actually like clean the cabinet doors or <laughs> wash the windows. My goodness. 
Anyway, so that's where we are, but I just find it useful to make a monthly resolution instead of a New Year's resolution. So that's what this is for. I have a waiting on list, um, which I use sometimes. Then this tab, I've got three top tabs here for like three project areas. The first one is content planning, and I'll show you April. I usually have May in the front here, like I tucked April in the back, but um, this is already all been published, so it's not a secret anymore. Um, so I've just been like, this kind of color coded, and it's this is using the new Friction Fine Liner pens, uh, which I don't have handy, or it would show you. Um, they were in one of my recent like Friction videos, if you wanna look at that, but uh, that just kind of helps uh, to be able to, you know, move things around by erasing. And this way I know, like, it's easier to, like, plan out what my Instagram post is going to be versus, like, you know, what's going on on YouTube that week and planning ahead to get everything done uh, in each week before it comes due. So that's what's happening. Uh, then the next tab is my garden plans. I haven't been using this as much because um, I just like I know where everything is now because it's come up. It's like there already. Um, I can tell which ones are the watermelons and which ones are the cucumbers. Uh, it's looking okay. I had a heck of a time with seed starting. I think I just did everything wrong and I learned a lot and I will do better next year. But um, I just went to the nursery yesterday and got some herb starts and put those in because I could not get my basil to germinate. Uh, so this is like a list of garden to-dos, uh, but this page is almost full, so I should probably just replace it with a new one. Um, sometimes it's like it hasn't been overwhelming of a lot of things, and so it hasn't really been a problem to just sort of do the things as they come up in the garden. But there are busier times and less busy times, so uh, I might just need a list again, but it's just a general list. And then tab three here, is my breast milk tracking log. I have an eight month old now as of this last Sunday and so I've been pumping at work and I have just kept all of the logs in here from when I went back because uh, they fit so why not? This is insert 18 in my shop and it can be used for anything. Um, it doesn't say breast milk on the top because I did not want to pigeonhole this insert because I think it's kind of interesting and useful for inventory tracking. So I just have how much I pump in a day, um, how much she drinks in the day. For example, I never did finish filling this out. So I pumped six and a half ounces today and then she had two left over at the end of the day. So that means she drank nine. <laughs> See? Um, and then the math on that, which I am not going to do math on camera. I wouldn't trust myself to get it right. Uh, then this first side tab for my weeks. Uh, I always put a photo in here from my HP Sprocket. These are my girls. Uh, this month I'm using three different inserts for my weekly setup. So I have here on the left... Uh, insert 37 which is this fold out list I only have it printed on one side and then this part stays stuck out or it can so that I can see my to-do list while I have my dailies up so I've got insert 22 here so I'm with the time ladder um, and that works for the whole week and then on the weekend I have the weekend daily this is I think insert 38 no 34 I think you'll find it it's listed under the dailies tab um, and so it's one daily for the whole weekend. So I have just like one shared to do list for the whole week. And um, I find that helpful. And then we start over for the next week. So this is the one that I did the plan with me video for. And then this is the current week we're in. So it doesn't really change much from week to week. That's where we are. My husband's birthday this week. He has been on this channel before, but he probably doesn't look at my comments section. But you know, you can wish him a happy birthday anyway. So there we go. This is all blank because I haven't set it up yet. This next tab, because I just had a lot of tabs, figure why not give everything its own tab? Uh, this next tab is sorry, I keep leaning on my desk. This next tab is dedicated just to meal planning. Um, this insert is number 27. And I really need to print out some more because these are like old and I've run out of space. But the idea here, um, you can use it for, for two full weeks if you're like me. 
um, but you put all of the meals you have. I, I use the circles to indicate um, shelf stability and then the check boxes to track like when I'm making the stuff. And uh, so I, I need to do this again because over our anniversary weekend, I just I didn't get around to doing a proper meal plan. And I think we have enough because we're probably going to get takeout for my husband's birthday and it'll work out. But anyway, we're not going to starve. You know, we've got some extra spam in the cupboards. By the way, this part on the back is the grocery list and it's like categorized here. So you see like the produce section, dry goods, dairy, more produce. <laughs> my daughter, uh, the two year old came with me to the store. This is before they lifted the mask stuff. Now I don't think I would do that because anyway, she uh, had a lot of fun going to the grocery store with me for a hot minute there. And she uh, did all the check boxes for me. The next tab is uh, my inbox to start with. Uh, I don't think there's anything too sensitive on here. Anything that needs just some brain dumping. I was doing some brain dumping. Um, I have this in here. This is the Eisenhower matrix. Insert number four on the shop. Um, I haven't used it obviously, but I thought it might be useful here if I needed to assign my brain dump stuff. This is a sticky note index. So these are the inserts that are in this section and I can move them around which is handy. Someday maybe list with a honeydew on the back. And then these are some craft projects that are sort of in the works. A craft <laughs> knitting pattern that uh, and tracker that I haven't touched in a year. And then <laughs> some game notes. Yeah, sorry, I'm not gonna tell you about that, but I am, uh, yeah, anyway, game notes. Then the next section has like reference stuff. It's kind of technically different. It's both of these two sections could get merged if I were short on tabs, which I'm not. So um, I've got my library books currently checked out. They don't do due dates this year. We've moved into a post due date society. So I have a whole bunch of books that I just kind of don't want to forget that they belong to the library. So here they are. But um, when the world happens again, um, you'll be able to put the date you checked it out. And then, or checked it out here, then it's due on this date, and then you renew it three times, and then you can um, put the X once it's returned. Uh, this two watch list is a mess. I need to redo that. Uh, gift ideas for other people, wish list ideas for myself. Both of these are in the shop, 38 and 39 respectively. And then the examination of conscience insert with the confession prep um, is a freebie. So that's insert 32. Uh, again, these are all at gangiplans.com slash shop. Uh, but now let's move on to some stuff that's not from my shop. This little hedgehog, which I don't mention a lot, but this is from the Little Red House. Um, I went to her booth at Comic-Con a couple years ago. So I got this. And also some cute washi tape with birds on it. Um, definitely looking forward to seeing her there again, if that's a thing. Next year, which Comic-Con will be, hopefully. This fold-out um, future log. I love it. It's perfect. It's from Peanuts Planner Co. And so I have not like redone it as my own invention. I just, I buy her yearly bundle every year um, and it works. And then this guy here, um, it's complicated. There's like a, a freebie month, a dated monthly uh, that is part of Peanuts Planner Co.'s Facebook page or group. Um, and the cover, the front and back cover of that insert looks like this. It doesn't have a date or anything like that, um, but I just printed out the pages that had the front and back covers so that they go like this, and um, that's all I printed out of that, and so I have this page for the next year's worth of future log stuff, so anything that comes up, you know, like when you go to the dentist in the latter half of the year, you need somewhere to put your next appointment, um, and then this is for things that are happening even further out from there. Um, if anything did come up, which you never know. And it's good to just, I always want to have a place to put the thing. Even if I'm never going to use it, I just want to know that I have just a page somewhere to put stuff. Birthdays and anniversaries. This is from the undated monthly or the un undated yearly bundle from Peanuts Planner Co. Um, and this has now been in here for, I think, going on three years. So it, you know, it, it works well. Yeah, I was, I think this is like from when I first moved into rings. So it's, it's fine. I just put the year that everyone was born instead of their age that they're turning. Because I have to do a little bit of math, but that way it's evergreen. 
recurring tasks. Um, I haven't looked at this in a minute, so it may need a little bit of updating. Like these have been done, so I can check them off. I gotta go back like maybe a couple times during the month just to move things uh, that have been done so that I don't forget. So I know when the next step is. I would do it like at my monthly plan with me point, but I kind of like to be ready for that because I film it. Um, you guys don't have to be on like that and then that's great. Uh, but that is insert 17 again from my shop. The last tab is spare paper. So uh, this one again, like I said, most of these black and white uh, acetates are from Peanuts Planner Co. Um, and I got these post-it notes. These are post-it brand post-it notes. Sidebar, did you hear that the inventor of the post-it note recently passed away? Didn't even know he was alive. Um, it's this darker blue and the lighter blue. I got these in the 99 cent store like several years ago. Um, and by the time they're there, you know that they're already like out of production, which is such a shame because it's two and a half by three. So it actually fits in here um, because normally the, from the edge of the page to where the the punch begins is not a full three inches so that is one of the very small annoyances of pocket planner life a couple of little uh flags to use for my indexes if i'm adding extra stuff there a couple of jot pads that i actually um trimmed down because they are like an eighth of an inch wider than my pages and then oh yeah these are the packing lists for uh for the last weekend with my husband and the girls, they spent the night at their grandparents and we got a hotel. So that was fun. Um, but they were just back. This is like written on the, the pages that were in the back here because I have spare paper. And I just wrote it where they were in the back and then never moved them anywhere. So I should probably move those somewhere. I've just got some check boxes, some grid pages, um, and some aligned. No. Yes, somewhere there's some lined pages, I thought. Maybe I used them all. But it's always just good to have a few spare pages lying around. I experimented briefly about a year ago with not having that. And then I found that um, even if I was, like, working from home and always had them near me, like, what if I was in the living room on the couch looking after my daughter and then I didn't have them near me and I couldn't do planning or I couldn't make a new collection. And then I mentioned I do all my wallet stuff here. This back pocket has cash, a couple of checks, and some stickers. And then that is it. Oh, also, yeah, I used to be using, uh, I used to use a Muji gel pen, but I switched to, it was an 05, I switched to this uh, .38 Pilot G2. I could not really understand the love for the black G2. Like, I really liked at my office they had the 07s right and I really like the blue 07 it writes great but the black 07 skips and and like make leave splotches and it's just not I, I couldn't understand why people love them so much but then I tried the point thirty eight, and it is amazing so I, I really love it it uh, the Muji the 05 even like it would smear a little bit if I didn't wait a second for it to dry this dries almost instantly so I've been really liking this. Um, it's it fits. It doesn't slid slide around too much actually, which is good. Um, this would not have fit in the Filofax pen loop, by the way. I don't think. So that's another reason to like the Mo term. I heard they increased their prices. I don't know. Anyway, that's the entire flip through. If you watch the whole thing, then you probably like what I'm doing here, and you should probably totally subscribe and ring the bell. Uh, I post videos. Well, sort of twice a week. I post Thursday planner videos, and then I've been doing shorts on Mondays. So stick around. I will see you in the next video on Thursday. Have a great week. Bye.